we are here with Bo and Bentley and um, we're gonna get started right here. So one thing I look for when I'm in the park is I look for a little bit of a hill because where you have this manicured grass that goes directly to really tall grass, just kind of looks a little yucky. There's some of that down there. We're not good. We don't usually like to shoot like that. So I love to find a little bit of a rise on a hill, which there's one right here. See, there's a little rise right there. And then you have some trees in the back. Now I'm also picking this spot because this is not the best. I want to show you guys the shots that are like meh. So then you can see the differences that I'm going to make to make the shots a little bit better. Uh, the other thing I like to do first is I like to get a shot when I'm shooting two dogs. I always like to get the shot of the two dogs first while all my noises are still novel. So let's get started. Right here, you'll see when I take the shot, we have some nice light grass here, nice light on the dogs. The sun's kind of coming from over there, but it's a little bit of rim lighting. We have a giant open sky over here. So there's no trees right over here. It's all open blue sky. So you're getting lots of great light on their faces. But if you look at the difference in luminance or brightness from where these guys are to where those trees are, the back's a lot darker. So it might not make the most pleasing photograph because of that difference. Although the sun's hitting those trees now, so it might be a little bit better, but still kind of dark back there. So let's give it a try. All right, so I take a couple test shots. I am shooting a 2.8 pretty much exclusively with my 70 to 200. I love this lens. It is my workhorse. It is amazing. Um, and I often shoot it at pretty, uh, pretty long if I can. So I'm just going to take this sample image here. So you'll be able to see that that background's just really dark and yucky. So let's go find a better spot. <laughs> 